Hi, I bought the uh, Arturia Minilab 3 MIDI controller to work with Cubase, but I noticed that although the uh, encoder knobs are endless, meaning you can turn them around, 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 uh, they submit an absolute value, so they couldn't be used as relative encoders out of the box. Why does this matter? It matters, for example, when uh, Cubase picks up on a knob turning, uh, you can have this jumpiness in the value as it tries to match the value of the knob. For example, say that the knob is valued at 60 and your quick control in Cubase is at 40, then you turn the knob, the quick control will then jump to 60 and then follow the knob. That is not the behavior you want. You want this, uh, you want your knob to pick up on the value that is set in Cubase. So if the Cubase quick control is at 40 and your knob may be at 60, you want to turn your knob and then the knob's value should jump to 40 so that you then have a smooth movement of the quick control in Cubase. Now, out of the box, this wasn't possible, but I'll show you a quick little trick how to do it. So you gotta have your Cubase open under the MIDI remote tab. And you've got to set up, since there is no script for Minilab 3, you have to go through this process where you uh, create your MIDI controller as I've done here. I've kind of made it look similar as the device I have. Uh, you set up your uh, pitch bend and so on, your modulation and your knobs. Now, uh, let me show you how not to do it. If you look at this knob that I have not changed yet, it's set to uh, value mode absolute, ranging from 0 to 127. This way you get that jumpiness, which we don't want. And let me see if I can demonstrate it here. I've got something open here. See, see what happened? Did you see that? The value jumped before it started picking up on my knob turning. Now, uh, what I want, of course, is what I did here, is you want to have this setting, relative binary offset. And that won't work with Arturia out of the box. You have to do this. So go to your MIDI control center, which you can download from Arturia. By the way, you have to download this software anyway to get your device set up properly. Because if you don't install the software that you have to install when you buy this uh, piece of equipment, uh, what happens is uh, nothing's going to work. <laughs> so that's the first problem. You have to install all the right stuff, so including the MIDI control center and the Arturia, um, the Arturia Lab, something, some kind of program you have to install. Now you click on this knob over here, the one that is uh, selected in red, and you go down here, it says min max value. Now, originally, I'll show you the original setting. The original setting was 0 to 127. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mimic the behavior of a relative knob. So we're going to set this value to 63 and the other one to 65. If you turn the knob right, it will reach the value 65 very quickly, and that indicates to the Cubase program that you're turning it to the right by plus one, plus one, plus one, rather than setting a value. Same with turning it left, hitting 63 very quickly, and then, it, and then Cubase understands you're doing minus one, minus one, minus one of the value, right? 64 in between is apparently sort of a, a zero value that is apparently necessary for the transition between the two. So once you've set this up, you got to click over here, store to. I, I use uh, device memory user one. I haven't touched the other ones ever. By the way, you probably also need to do your uh, firmware revision. Make sure you have the latest firmware. And then you go click store to. My case, user one. And now when I go to uh, my uh, Cubase program, let me find it over here. Uh, you can see that the quick control, the top left over here, when I turn my this knob, the one I made relative, which I set here as relative binary offset, mind you, the values over here, 0 to 127, they stay that way because that relates to this value, so to speak. Now watch me turn this knob. See? See? Let's pick the knob. Now watch. I'm going to switch channel to kick 2. Here the value of my quick control is very different. See? Here the value is somewhere halfway. Here the value is low. Now I'm going to slowly turn it to the right, my knob. And watch, watch. See? it picks up where the value in the program was at. I'm going to go back to this channel. Again, it picks up where it was at. You see, no jumpiness in the values. I can go back to the kick. Again, turning the knob left and down. See, it picks up where it is. So what we're doing is, uh, by setting this 
to 63 and 65, you are effectively mimicking a relative knob. So that's what we're doing. It's not an actual relative knob. It's an absolute knob that sends absolute values, but we're sending the two values, 63 and 65, that fool the program into thinking it is dealing with a relative knob. Okay, so and then you have to do that for every other knob as well. Or maybe you don't want to, maybe you just want to have a few of them, like the top row could be your relative faders and the bo bottom row you could set them, keep them as your absolute uh, uh, encoders. Uh, you could even make your faders absolute though, of course with the faders you hit uh, a top position all of a sudden, can't go no further. So I would keep I would keep the faders as absolute because that's what they actually are. Keep this modulation strip as absolute as well. But you can turn these nine knobs into relative faders if you want to by setting the value here to 63 and 65. And then in Cubase, you got to click here at view mode. Uh, wait here. Sorry, value mode, relative binary offset. And don't change these value min and value max. Keep those. Now, there may be a little problem, say, if you're using other software with your MIDI controller, then you may have to go back into this program, the MIDI control center, and then set these to zero again. But I suppose you can also uh, save this as, as a template. So you could have uh, here as a temp factory template, you can create your own user template, say, my Cubase template or my other template where everything is absolute. So that's how to do it. I hope this really helps you out because I was reading on the forums on Cubase and on Steinberg and on, on you know Reddit that people have a problem with this. They bought this controller thinking these are endless knobs, but they're not really endless knobs. They're just they send absolute values, uh, and that is even though the the older model of this, the Minilab MK2, did have endless knobs they did have relative encoders this new version does not have relative encoders so you have to um, configure it this way with 63 and 65 here in the bottom to trick the program that it as though it were relative well i hope this helps it really helped me thank you very much